hardly any wonder that I'd get inspiration for my next sleep story from this place. You might think I'm mad, but there's method in my madness. First of all, you don't need an excuse to come down here because it's just gorgeous. I'm in Portoclo in North Mayo, down in Caratai, gorgeous part of the country, and the glaze not there yet. But the reason I'm here is because of the rock pools behind me. And it's said that these rock pools, when it's a rainy day like today, can act as a portal to the other world. It's only on days when it rains, it can get you into the world of the fairies, where you could get trapped, so it's pretty dangerous to be here today. If you go to the fairy world, you have to get back before they dry up or you'll be stuck there forever. The other thing I'm trying to do right now, and you might see behind me the beautiful Atlantic Ocean there, there are stories here of fishermen being lured out to sea by meros. Now meros are a little bit like um, mermaids, and it basically means the same thing, so mer oiga. And um, the meros, they can have pale skin or even greenish coloured skin, green hair they're often depicted with, and oftentimes with what's called a hochelin drip. Now the Cochalin Dre is a special magic cap or a magic hood and when they wear this they can, it enables them to breathe and live underwater safely and when they take it off they can come and join in with the rest of us here in the real world, in the human world. They remind me a little bit of Selkies but Selkies remember again are a little bit different in that they are half seal, half woman. They can sing like angels and they can lure people into the ocean or if they're in a good mood they might lead you to a great shoal of fish so that you'll be able to find food for your family and it's not hard to understand why there are stories of meros in a place as stunning as this. This is Port Cloy. Nobody comes here. Nobody knows about this place. It's totally unspoilt and it's absolutely beautiful. So if you are coming anywhere in Ireland and you want to see the real Ireland and you want to get off the beaten path, this is definitely a place to come.